it's amazing those scriptures you gave today because that's right exactly in line with what the Lord, I, I believe, has for us today. So, folks, seriously, I, I believe this could change um, the trajectory of your life. And Pastor Kenny is going directly to you. But don't, 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 don't be twisted. Don't get it twisted. I'm, I'm grabbing some for myself. And anybody else out there that wants to grab some, you can grab some as well. So I told you about the meeting I was speaking at. It started there in Ohio. And uh, standing room only, great crowd, great energy. And uh, folks were running to my table to buy books and stuff before I even finished. And one young man, um, Rob Yannick is his name, pastored the church for about 23 years. They had some issues and some problems. And so now he's kind of in transition. So he's doing coaching and he just wrote a book. But it's your ultimate comeback. And uh, so anyway, he bought everything that he told me, he said, I want to buy everything, and I know this man is busy, but here's my card if he'll ever call me. Well, you know, I called him, and he was like, he was shocked. He was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I said, well, if you left the card, I was like, I wanted to call you. And so we talked for a few moments, and he sent me a little sermon that he, that he had spoken at this church. I got acquainted with him, you know, by phone. He told me how, you know, he said, man, when I walked in, I just felt connected to you. He said, and what you spoke on and what you taught, he said it just, oh, my goodness, he said it was just incredible, uh, a breakthrough. And so I listened to this message he sent me, and here's one of the secrets, folks. When I listen to something, when I read something, I always seek to get at least one nugget, one main thing that I can instantly take away and instantly implement, right? And uh, and so one of the things he said, this guy, young guy named Rob Yannick, well, I say young guy, he's been married 20 Four, 25 years, something like that. But anyway, but uh, Rob said this. He said he was he was talking about your ultimate comeback, and, and he said he's in the process of his comeback. But he said anybody uh, who counts you out, and Pastor Ken, I'm giving this directly to you now. Anybody who counts you out, he says they can't count. And then he stopped and said, "Ooh, that's a tweetable. Somebody ought to tweet that one." And so he said it again. Anyone who counts you out, they can't count. And I was like, oh, my goodness. And all of a sudden, the Lord wrapped my attention. And so you remember I often say, you you, you know, it, it's okay to be a copycat as long as you copy the right cat, and you don't want to reinvent the wheel, but you must put on your own rims. And so I took that quote and put my own rims on it and uh, uh, put the Dr. Breakthrough spin on it. And so here's what I got and what I want to give to you for the next few moments. And, that, and this could change, I'm telling you, if you'll get it. And that is this. And I want you to write it down. I'm going to say it a couple times so you can write it down. Everyone who counts you out doesn't count unless you count them. Come on, write that down, Pastor Candy. Right? And anybody else who wants to get some, you can get it too now. Everyone who counts you out doesn't count unless you count them. Say it again. Everyone who counts you out doesn't count unless you count them. See, Scripture says a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked fall into mischief. How do you discern between a righteous and unrighteous man? Well, it's simple. The righteous man, the righteous woman, when they fall, they get back up, <laughs> right? The, the, they, they, just, they, just, they just get back up. And so here's what I'm saying, my friend. Everyone that counts you out doesn't count unless you count them. So you remember I told you I was speaking with Les Brown in the U.K., and Les made a statement he said, that never allow someone else's negative opinion of you to become your reality because they said he was educatively slow. They said, you know, he wasn't this and he wasn't that, and he had embraced or believed it, and then it was a teacher that interrupted his thought pattern and said, why are you listening to others' negative opinion? Don't allow their negative opinion to become your reality. And that's what helped Les to get his breakthrough. Well, when I got up to speak afterwards, of course, I said, Hey, Les, I got something that was good. Never, Don't allow someone else's negative opinion of you to become your reality. I said, but I got something a little better. He said, what's that? I said, only allow God's opinion of you to become your 
reality because he calls us overcomer. Now, to be an overcomer means you got to have something to come over. It doesn't mean you won't have problems. It doesn't mean you won't fall. It doesn't mean you won't so-called fail in the eyes of the world. But what it means is if you listen to what he says, then you'll, you'll, you'll make things work. If not, my friend, you'll stay down, but an overcomer. So everyone, if you don't have it written down, have it written down. Everyone that counts you out doesn't count unless you count them. See, see, here's, here's what Scripture says. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So when all the haters come, and, and, and haters, H-A-T-E-R-S, having animosity toward everyone reaching success. Haters, having animosity toward everyone reaching success. I, I'm going to put on my Facebook t- t- tomorrow, uh, dear haters, you haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> I'm going to really give you something to hate on if that's what you want. But here's what I'm saying, my friend, because all throughout life, and, and think about Hey, think about this. Think about this. Everyone that counts you out. Now, obviously, we know Satan wants to count you out. I mean, he's the accuser of the brethren. And so if you stumble, if you fall, if things don't go the way you thought they was going to go, uh, you know, it's like, oh, you, you ain't going to make it. You ain't no, you, no, that won't work. Hey, everyone who counts you out doesn't count unless you count them. So listen, my friend, so many times people will listen to the negativity, to the satanic lies, instead of listening to God Almighty. 1 Timothy 1.12, and I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who hath enabled me, oh, for that he counted me. See, here's our problem in life. We count the folks that don't count and won't count the only one who does count. See, Satan can tell you that, you know, that's it. You know, and, and, and the negative people can tell you that's it, and your own heart can tell you, ah, well, I, I think maybe, you know, maybe I jumped into, maybe I won't be able to fit. But, no, no, listen, if our heart condemn us, uh-oh, I dropped my phone. <laughs> hey, if our heart condemn us, it says God is greater than our heart knoweth all things. Even if you start believing Satan and the naysayers, and start saying, you know, I'm out. Well, if you count them, you may stay down, but God counted you in, and it's time to stop counting the folks that don't count and start counting the only one who does count. And he says, I've enabled you, and I've counted you faithful, putting you into the ministry. And in the business context, when God gives you a business idea, when he gives you a concept, it's like Steve Jobs. And Steve Jobs was working that thing and working that thing and working that thing. And guess what, my friend? His own company. Now, first they said it would never last, but he got it going, and then he got it going successfully. And his own company kicked him out. The board of directors kicked him out. And everybody said, he's done. That's, that's it. And guess what? They counted Steve Jobs out. But you know what happened? Because they counted him out, he didn't let their opinion count. So guess what, my friend? He just kept on going, kept on believing, kept on achieving, and little do you know, the company had some serious problems, and they got together and said, we can't pull it out unless, we bring back Steve. <laughs> and the same board members that kicked him out had to bring him back, and he got charged over his own company. And listen, my friend, and he died early, but guess what? When he died, even to the day, his company is worth more money than any company in the world. But if you'd have caught him back then, they'd have said, no, he out. No, it'll never last. It's done. He's done. It's a washout. And I'm saying to you, my friend, I'm saying, Pastor Kenny, you, <laughs> no, I don't care who counts you out. I don't care if your own heart says, I, I, maybe I bit off a little more than I can chew. It doesn't matter, my friend, because God counted you. And when God counts you, you got to stop counting what other negative folks say. you got to stop counting what your own senses may say. 
you got to stop counting what other business leaders may say, and you got to only let the only one who counts, let him count. And when that happens, my friend, uh, like Rob said, you're talking about the ultimate comeback, <laughs> you know, like, like Dr. Willie Jolly, we were speaking together in Howard University, and, and, uh, he, and, and so um, I spoke, and then he was speaking afterwards, and, and he came up to me, he said, man, so you, you heard my quote, I, I like the way you use my quote. And I said, what quote? He said, a setback is a setup for comeback. I was like, uh, no, that ain't your quote. That's my quote. He said, no, man, that's, I've been saying that for years. I said, Willie, and no offense, I never heard of you until recently. <laughs> I said, so he said, no, I, I got a book on it. I said, Doc, I never read your book, never heard of your book. I didn't hear of you. And so I said, I guess, as the scripture says, a man to receive nothing except to be given him from above. The same place you got it from, I got it from as well. <laughs> and we chuckled and laughed. But the thing is, uh, you, you know, that, so, so, so God was, gave me that. But that setback is a setup for comeback. And then, of course, Dr. Jolly now came out with a new book, Setbacks, How to Turn Setbacks into Greenbacks. And I say a setback paves the way for comebacks. So whether it's a setback when you're starting whether it's a setback after you started, whether it's a, it doesn't matter, my friend. I'm telling you, everyone who counts you out, they don't count unless you count them. And many a people, many a business, many a concept, many a ministry, many a marriage, many a great person, my friend, never fulfilled their potential, not because God wouldn't empower them, but because they listened to somebody who didn't count and they counted the ones who didn't count instead of counting the one who does count. And the one who counts says, listen, can you imagine a fight? And the guy one of the, the, the uh, say a boxing match or, or, or MMA, you know, I love MMA, and they got the fight coming up with Conor McGregor and this Khabib. And uh, people keep asking, what do you think? I was like, well, if it stays on the, on, on, on the feet, I think Conor might get him. Uh, if it goes on the ground, Khabib is going to get it. And I'm pulling for it to be, by the way. But but at any rate, so so but here's the thing, my friend. But but MMA are boxing match, but but mostly used to boxing. So so one guy hits a guy and he goes down. And the referee starts counting, right? Well think about this. When if he gets up before ten, everything's fine. If he doesn't get up by ten, guess what? It's over. And literally, in the arena of life. It doesn't matter how you get knocked down, how your business gets knocked down, how many stalls it has. In essence, it's like you're knocked down and the referee is starting to count and God steps in and says, stop counting. No count here. <laughs> you can't count. Stop counting. And then God himself says, son, get up. Daughter, get up. Come on. You can do this. I'm saying, listen, my friend, this is so powerful when you think about it. This is so transforming when you realize it. I'm saying they said to Edison when he was trying to develop the light bulb, and, 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 and they said, man, he's out. He's down for the count. He keeps trying. It's not working. And finally, watch this now, finally he came up with a solution, and somebody said, man, you failed 999 times, but you finally prevailed on the thousandth time. He said, I didn't fail 999 times. I just found 999 ways it didn't work. But I knew one of them was going to work sooner or later. See, when everybody else <laughs> was counting him out, he didn't count their count. He kept on. And so, my friend, everyone who counts you out, they don't count unless you count them. Stop counting the ones that don't count. Tawana Williams. Oh, my goodness, she's going to be in Houston this weekend. Uh, I know it was a domestic violence. And then uh, speaking at the, uh, Apostle Burrell's church, you need to be, if you know anybody in that area, if you're a few hours away, you need to get there. I'm telling you, it will change your life. And, uh, Apostle, if you're on at the end, I want you to give the address to make sure everybody has that. But they, Tawana was born without arms. And uh, they said she never walked. They counted her out. And uh, they said she wouldn't live long. And guess what? She didn't count. And her, she had a mom that believed, and her mom didn't count on what they told her. And her mom was bold enough to write the president of the United States.
United States back then and say, I need help with my little girl. But because of this uh, this drug, uh, uh, thalidomide, something like that, they gave her, they caused the, the, uh, Tawanda to be born without arms. And, and, and so, so the president of the United States responded to a young single black mother who had the audacity not to be counted out, not to count on what they counted, but the one on who counts says, no, you can do this, girl. And Tawana was sent to a special school. And Tawana, my friend, and Tawana, her story, I don't want to take it all and tell you, but simply to say, my friend, she's been through some horrendous things. And yet she made it. End up getting hooked on crack cocaine for 10 long years. They counted her out. But everyone who counts you out doesn't count. And Tawana got the victory. Tawana got delivered. And Tawana today, as a matter of fact, she got pregnant. They said, no, you can't have the baby. How are you going to take care of a baby without arms? And the doctors told her, no, you got to abort the baby. They said, you can't do it. Her own family member said, you can't. And they all counted her out. But she didn't count on those that don't count. She only counted the one who does count. (laughs) And Tawana had a little girl, April. And Tawana learned how to take care of her baby using her feet to birth the baby, to feed the baby, to change the baby's diaper. And those of you who come to the, to the meetings that she'll at, she'll demonstrate in front of you. It will blow your mind. See, if you think you are beaten, you are. And if you think you dare not, you won't. If you'd like to win but think you can, it's almost a sense you won't. If you think you will lose, you've already lost. With this powerful truth we find, success. Begins with a person's will, it's all a state of mind. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger woman or man. Sooner or later, those who win, those who first think and then know that they can. See, as a man thinking, Henry Ford said, if you think you can, you're right. If you think you can't, you're right. But I'm going to tell you something, my friend. The only one who counts, he's counting on you. <laughs> he knew everything about you. Before he, he he counted on you, and he and he and he still said, I'm, "I'm with you. I'm in your corner. You can do this thing. I need you to represent me on this earth." So in your business, in your marriage, in your listen, my friend, I'm telling you, and the world can count you out, but it doesn't matter. They don't count. The one who counts counted you in. <laughs>